Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk, with you again today for a new video. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we are at the movie theater at the moment, if you guys can see that. <laughs> uh, getting ready to go in to see the newest film from Alex Garland called Civil War. Uh, this movie has been pretty heavily talked about the past week or so. This is opening night, officially anyway. There were showings last night, of course. Uh, but it's Friday, April, what is it, April 12th? <laughs> uh, opening night, officially, of Civil War. So uh, I'm a big Alex Garland fan. I like uh, his writing. I like his directing. I've seen all three of the films that he's directed. Ex Machina is one of my favorites of all time. So I will see every Alex Garland movie that I can in the theaters. And of course, it's a great opportunity to see another A24 film in theaters. Uh, as far as my expectations for the film, I'm not quite so sure <laughs> how I'm going to feel about it. We'll see. It's a very obviously bold concept to deal with, a potential uh, civil war in the near future dystopian United States. It's definitely going to grab some attention, and it has. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how I feel about it. Going in with lukewarm expectations, um, and I'll be back here in a few minutes to give you my thoughts on uh, Civil War by Alex Garland. It's a pretty cool um, crowd out at the theater. I don't know that they're really necessarily here to see Civil War. Um, there's all kinds of other movies playing at the moment, but uh, it's nice to see a little crowd at the theater here on a Friday night. So I'm going to go ahead and head in there. I'll be back a few seconds for you guys, a couple hours for me, and give you my thoughts on Civil War by Alex Garland. A few moments later... All right, guys, just got out of the theater from seeing Civil War by Alex Garland, and uh, I hope the lighting's okay. It's been a while since I've done a video in the dark here. Um, maybe some ambiance or some spookiness. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> so, the film. I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. Um, there were elements of this that I thought worked really well, but then there was a lot of elements that I feel like didn't work. Uh, I completely understand what Alex Garland was going for. At least, maybe I don't completely understand it. I somewhat understand it. Um, there's, you know, been a lot of news, a lot of talk about this movie, of course, given the subject matter. And there's been a lot of talk about it being apolitical. And in the sense that it's not a film that's completely delving into the political issues that could lead to a civil war, right? It's not talking about the political issues of the time in the United States. Uh, it doesn't even really go into the backstory of how this civil war happened, which I think is an interesting choice. Um, it really just follows from the start, okay, the war is happening, and it's really just the journey of these journalists trying to document it and uh, f photograph it. Sorry, <laughs> words not working there. Um, in some instances, this movie kind of reminded me a lot of Nightcrawler, which if you've ever seen Nightcrawler, uh, it's one of my favorite movies of the past 10 years, but uh, the film kind of deals in similar subject matter, right? It, uh, in the sense that Nightcrawler, Jake Gyllenhaal's character, really only cares about capturing footage of horrific things. And the character's motivations in this film are a little bit different, but it really reminded me of that sense in the fact that the most important thing to them was capturing the footage of what was happening. And there really was no moral commentary about what was going on. Uh, Alex Garland has said it's an anti-war film, and you can definitely see some of those elements, but it wasn't obvious to me. Like, I think, you know, there's something to be said about subtlety. I just don't know if this film really pulled off the subtlety exceptionally well, because I could see a lot of people seeing this movie and just not seeing the point of it. It's just kind of, it's almost documentary-esque in that sense. Like, you can obviously tell you're watching a fictional movie, but in the sense that it's not really hitting you over the head with a moral message or really any type of message other than the importance of journalism and photographic journalism especially. Um, 
like I said, a part of me liked the way he dealt with it. I just wish it was executed a little bit better. And I wish there was more of a concrete kind of message behind the film. I didn't really want a preachy movie that's going to beat you over the head with its message. But at the same time, I would have liked a little bit more here. Uh, I also would have liked a little bit more out of the characters. Some of the characters have satisfying arcs. Some of them do not. Um, there's an actor in this movie, and I wish I could remember his name. Uh, he's a famous character actor. He's been in tons of movies. Older African-American gentleman. If you've seen the movie, you know exactly who I'm talking about. He gives the best performance of the film, in my opinion. I really latched onto his character, and I really didn't latch onto any other characters. Aside from maybe Kristen Dunst's character, I thought she was pretty good and well-written. Um, but some of the others, I think, just were kind of bland, in my opinion. Um, but like I said, performances were decent, not amazing. So I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I'm going to give Civil War a 3 out of 5. I'm not in a hurry to rewatch this thing, but I do want to see how my opinion evolves over time. Because this is very much one that is not set in stone at the moment for me. Like, I'm going to have to sit there and think about this movie for a while longer to really kind of finalize my thoughts on the film. But at the moment on Letterboxd, it's going in as a three out of five. All right, going to wrap up the thoughts there. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend here. Is it still Friday night? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Friday night and the rest of my weekend. So see you guys later. Bye.